And welcome to NBC 10 at issue. I'm Erin Coleman. We begin with Vice, a new film about Vice President Dick Cheney. Its Academy Award winning director Adam McKay grew up in Malvern and attended Temple University. Today, he's here to talk about his latest project. I can handle the more mundane jobs overseeing bureaucracy, military, energy, and uh, foreign policy. Yeah, right. I like that. The movie stars Christian Bale as the former vice president and Amy Adams as his wife, Lynn. Joining me now, director Adam McKay. Thanks for being here. We're My so excited pleasure. to have you back home. As if you'll be back home. Philadelphia. Yeah. I miss it. I know. I wish it was for longer. I definitely want to enjoy some Wawa, some cheesesteaks, all the standards, <laughs> but... Uh, Unfortunately, it's just uh, one day. All the things you get when you come back home. Oh, the best. All right, so we're here talking about Vice, obviously. Well before the movie came out, there was a lot of buzz about this movie. It's been in the theaters now for six days. For people who have not seen it or haven't seen the trailer, set the scene. Tell us what it's all about. Yeah, it's basically the story of a leader who, for the most part, hung out in the shadows, Dick Cheney. Uh, I think most of us know one or two things about him. You know, he shot a guy in the face. He was the vice president. They jokingly called him Darth Vader. Uh, but in my research, I found that this guy was one of the most powerful leaders in the history of America. And what we get here is a lucky treat is we get a, a tour de force performance from Christian Bale. It's truly breathtaking. And from Sam Rockwell as W. Bush, and from Carell as Rumsfeld, Amy Adams as Lynn Cheney is unbelievable. So it's a, a character study of power. How did you decide that this was a topic that you wanted to tackle? And talk about the research that went into it. Yeah, there was a lot. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of great journalists out there who've written amazing books that I was able to read, articles. Uh, we hired our own journalists to go talk to people off the record. So there was a lot of work put in. Uh, but, you know, I, I think off my previous movie, The Big Short, which was about the financial world, I just started having this thought that, you know, sometimes the stories that make the biggest differences are the ones that aren't out in the open. Mm. They're the shadowy ones. They're the ones that seem boring. They're the ones that seem like, who cares? And I think that's a little bit of what drew me to Dick Cheney. We got to talk about your local roots. Uh, you were born in Philly, raised in Malvern, went to Temple for a period of time. So h how does it feel to be a uh, Philly native now, big Hollywood director? Talk about your path to get there. You know, Philly was such a major part of me growing as a filmmaker. I mean, I think I saw like all my first art films here, like Kurosawa, Fellini. Uh, there was just such amazing old theaters. Is that Ritz Five? Is that still around? <laughs> yeah. I actually was an usher there. No way. I swear to God, and I cleaned the bathrooms there. And, you know, it was just that great time of the late 80s where I was just inhaling movies and all my friends were as well. And I was lucky enough to get to go to Temple University that had some great film professors. I learned a lot there. So, yeah, Philly's always home, no matter how long I've lived out in Los Angeles. When I come back here, it just feels right. We also have to talk about your connection to NBC. Um, you were a head writer at SNL for a couple of seasons there. So talk about um, how that kind of laid your foundation a little bit for what you're doing now, the uh, comedic genius in you? Well, yeah, I mean, I was really lucky at SNL. Lorne Michaels gave me a ton of opportunities. Uh, and the biggest one he gave me was he let me direct short films for the show. And that was the first time I really got to direct. Wow, wow. Um, and he also let me experiment. So that was when I first started learning, yes, stuff can be funny, but, but it can also have something else going on with it too, uh, which is kind of what these last two movies I've done have been about, Vice and The Big Short. They're serious, yet they're funny, yet they're absurd, yet they're tragic. And so I give, uh, I give Lauren Michaels a lot of credit for that opportunity. And also when I was there, my first year as head writer, I hired uh, an unknown writer who's also a Philadelphian, uh, Tina Fey. Wow. Yeah. And, and we've seen how Tina has risen. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Tina's had <laughs> quite the career. I got to say, though, I, sometimes people are like, oh, my God, you hired Tina Fey. But it was it was the equivalent of drafting like LeBron James, number one. Yeah. I mean, she was clearly one of the funniest people on the planet. So it was a no brainer, uh, but still pretty cool. Wow. And so you also talked about some of the heavy hitters in this movie, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, uh, Steve Carell as Donald Rumsfeld. What was it like to work with these powerhouse names on a movie like this? Well, you know, some of them I've worked with before. I was lucky to get to work with Amy on Talladega, and, uh, Talladega nice, Nights. Yeah. And also Steve Carell, obviously, I've done tons of stuff with. Bale, I've done stuff with. So what's funny is you just get comfortable with them. They just seem like friends on set. But every <laughs> now and then, they uncork a performance where everyone gets very quiet on set. You don't want to disturb it. And the director of photography and I will look at each other and the hair will stand up on your oh. arm. And that, that's when it gets really, really special. And you know you've got it. Like, yeah. that was it. That's yes. what people are going to be talking about. And, and I can't believe we're allowed to be in this room and watch this happen and this and watch this happen and this is our job. Yeah. I mean, that's what's crazy about it. Great job. All right, I keep hearing about a big musical number too. Uh, I guess that got cut out, left on the uh, cutting room floor. How do you decide what stays in and what gets cut out of a movie like this? Well, that was probably the most painful cut I think we had in the movie. We shot a beautiful musical number. Brittany Howard from the Alabama Shakes, the choreographer of Hamilton, it was just breathtaking, but it didn't fit in the rhythm of the story, so we had to cut it. But the good news is when they do, you know, Blu-ray and, you know, iMovies and all that kind of stuff, you will get to see it. That'll be an extra feature. That exactly, you exactly. All right, so now that Vice is out, what's next for you? And and will you be shooting anything in Philadelphia anytime soon? Fingers crossed. Man, I would love to shoot here. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a great town. I mean, obviously, we see M. Night does so many amazing yes. movies here. Yes. Uh, if it, you know, it, it's all about these silly tax incentives. There are certain states that have them. Some states don't. Uh, when you don't use them, you have to pay way more money. The studios don't like that. But I am dying to do a movie here. That would be the best. So tax credit, uh, more availability, or the, the cap goes up? We get you here, maybe? Uh, you definitely get me here if that happens. That's a promise. It. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, make some phone calls. <laughs> no. um, what advice do you have, seriously, for young people that may be watching this right now and say, I want to be where he is. I'm a young person. Um, I love theater. Or I love uh, editing or what, whatever it may be, but I want to be where he is. What advice would you have for them? I think the big thing is, you know, we're in a lucky time right now where there's so much technology. There's so many cameras and it, heck, you can shoot a feature film off a phone. People yeah. have done it. Yeah. And so don't try and shoot things that you think people in Hollywood will like. Shoot what you like. Tell your unique story. And that's really what people want to see. So have you heard from any of the real people that your characters portray in this film? You know, so far the only thing I've heard is a, a friend of a friend of mine knew a journalist who watched the trailer for the movie with Dick and Lynn Cheney. And apparently they laughed quite hard and enjoyed it. Really? So that's the closest I've heard. Um, but I have a feeling now that the movie's out, we'll be hearing more and more reactions coming from the actual people. And, you know, I'm going to assume some of them aren't going to be crazy about it. I'm going to assume other ones will agree with it. It'll be uh, interesting to find out. All right. Director Adam McKay, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. We appreciate your time. Vice is in theaters right now.